Okay, hello and welcome. I'd like to go ahead and continue our review of exponents by looking at uh, zero and negative exponents. So what I'd like to look at first is, is what is uh, 2 to the 0 power? And uh, we might wonder uh, what that might be. You know, we think about uh, you know, an exponent as being repeated multiplication. How would I multiply 2 by itself? zero times. Uh, our first guess is probably to think that it would be zero, but that ends up being incorrect. Uh, one, one thing we could do to, to try and think what 2 to the 0 might be is, is uh, notice that, of course, 2 to the first power is 2, and 2 squared is 4, and 2 cubed is 8, and 2 to the fourth is 16. And if I look at this in reverse, you'll notice a nice pattern, right? When I go from 2 to the fourth to 2 to the third, I, I'm dividing by 2, right? 16 divided by 8 is 2. And, from 2 cubed to 2 squared, I'm again dividing by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is, is 2. And if I take this 2 and divide it, <clears throat> divide it by 2, that should give me 1. Um, and so it sort of makes sense if I just follow the pattern that 2 to the 0 would be equal to 1. Um, another way that I could think of that is in terms of my quotient rule. Remember that if I had you know, 2 to the 4th over 2 to the 3rd, uh, I can think of that as 2 to the 4 minus 3, which is 2 to the 1st. And of course, uh, just to cancel the three 2's on the bottom with the, with the uh, you know, three of the 2's on the top, that'll give me you know, 2. So I just get you know, 2, which is, makes sense. If I do that uh, in the same way with 2 cubed over 2 cubed, uh, that would be 2 to the 3 minus 3, subtracting the exponents, which is 2 to the 0. And of course, uh, 2 cubed over 2 cubed, 8 over 8 is just 1. So it does make sense that 2 to the 0 would be 1 on, on a couple of different levels. Uh, <clears throat> when I move on to uh, negative exponents, if I were to, to uh, think of 2 to the negative 1, if I just, again, follow that pattern and divide by 2, 1 divided by 2 is a half. And again, that makes sense in terms of, uh, of my quotient rule. If I had 2 squared over 2 cubed, that would be 2 to the 2 minus 3, which is 2 to the negative 1. And, and just canceling these, that would give me a half. So 2 to the negative 1 does make sense that that is equal to, to a half. Um, and if I had uh, 2 squared over 2 to the 4th, that would be 2 to the 2 minus 4. That's 2 to the negative 2. Um, and that's the same thing, again, canceling the, you know, the 2 2's on the top here with uh, 2 of the 4 2's on the bottom. That would leave me uh, 2 squared in the denominator. And notice that's the same thing as if I were to just divide this by 2 again, that would give me 1 4th which is 1 over 2 squared, okay? So it makes sense what a negative exponent is and what a zero exponent is, just to, so we can see this again. I'll do the same thing with 3. Notice that 3 to the first is 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed is 27, 3 to the fourth, if I multiply another 3 in there, that'll give me 81. So again, just working in reverse, I'd divide by 3 to get 27, divide by 3 to get 9, divide by 3 to get 3, and 3 divided by 3 is is 1. So again, it makes sense that 3 to the 0 would be 1. In fact, anything to the 0 is going to be 1, as long as that anything isn't 0, because 0 to the 0 ends up being what we call an indeterminate form. But uh, basically, any, any number other than 0 raised to the 0 power is always going to give us 1. We'll be able to do this same pattern and see that that makes sense. Again, keep going here, dividing by, by uh, 3, following the pattern. It makes sense that 3 to the negative 1 would be 1 third and 3 to the negative 2 would be 1 over 3 squared. So, so the rule is that, that a base raised to a negative exponent is just 1 over that base to the positive exponent. So this negative right here in the exponent is not a, a number less than 0 in the sense of uh, you know, being negative. It's really referring to uh, what we call the multiplicative inverse. It's uh, the reciprocal. Uh, there. So uh, that's our what the negative exponents mean.